A lot of you have taken a journey with me ever since the Tuesday's torch was passed on to me. I've carried it through a dark and scary part of my life at times, passed through many valleys as I tried to figure some things out. Last week, I shared with you some happy words and very positive words, and this week, I would like to express just a little how to find that same happiness. I've not known how the different aspects of my life were going to work together for my good, but I knew and know that they will because it has been promised. So let's delve into a verse for a moment. Proverbs 3, 5 through 8 states, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes, fear the Lord, and depart from evil. It shall be health to thy navel and marrow to thy bones. It is my testimony to each of you that the Lord will in fact direct your paths as you acknowledge him and as you make necessary changes in your life. I've had to make a lot, and there's still more work to be done. A lot more. Now, I always give this, this disclaimer, and always will. I'm not perfect. I'm not saying I've got it all figured out. I'm working on everything that I'm preaching about the same as you are. But I would like to share another snippet from Proverbs 3, verses 11 through 13, say the following. And please note that the same words would equally be spoken daughter in place of son and woman in place of man. Uh, my son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, neither be weary of his correction. For whom the Lord loveth, he correcteth, even as a father the son in whom he delighteth. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom, and the man that getteth understanding. As I was struggling through some of the bigger aspects of getting my life back in order and making it through some of those valleys I mentioned, it was often difficult to learn the lessons I needed. And oftentimes it wasn't that hard, but the difficulty was in realizing that I should have learned it sooner, beating myself up that it had taken me so long. There were times where anger, directed in all directions but most especially at myself, could have taken over. But God knew what I needed and what difficult trials I needed to go through to finally understand, to finally have the knowledge that I needed. And so at this point in time, I want to say a very special thank you to my Father in Heaven for correcting me, for chastening me, and as painful as, as it has been so many times, for giving me opportunities to learn those things He needed and needs me to learn and know. God really and truly will lead us if we let Him. He loves me, and He loves you. He wants to help us. It is the reason He sent His Son. Heavenly Father is ready to work great miracles in our lives. I have seen it. I know that God has something amazing in store. Brothers and sisters, each of you who have gone through your difficult trials and have had to learn things, often in very painful ways, you are loved. Many, many times I've questioned and wondered why certain things have happened the way they did and how they could possibly ever lead somewhere wonderful. And I still don't 100% know what the future holds, but I know there are countless blessings ahead for me and you and anyone who chooses to allow the Lord to lead and guide. Our God is not a limited God. As I said last week, our God is a God of more than enough. I know that to be true today even more than I did last week. And I share this with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.